What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you my personal best render settings in Vegas Pro 16. Now even though I say Vegas Pro 16, it's the exact same settings I use in Vegas Pro 15, and the reason I haven't changed is because it's the exact same thing. There's no faults with it, you're getting 60 frames per second, it's a quicker rendering time compared to the other formats, and also it is in 1080. So this is actually a template built into Vegas. There is just one minor adjustment we will make and then also saving it as a template, which I'm gonna be showing you all in the video. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16. And as you can see on screen, I have an edited video right here. Now this is the edited file of the Vegas Pro 16 walkthrough I uploaded yesterday. And you can see it's a 26 minute video. Now the settings I show you in this video is the exact same settings I've been using as mentioned in the intro. And believe it or not, this video actually only took 20 minutes to render, and it's a 26 minute video. Now I'm gonna cut straight to the point, you don't need to mess with project video properties. I'll prove this later on in the video, it's a waste of time. What we're going to do is double click above your timeline so you get these two yellow dots, which are loop regions. And basically you want everything you want to render in between these dots. So you can see it's at the start, and right at the end as well. Hence why I've added a marker, that just helps me with a loop region and then I can see it's accurate by default. The next thing we're gonna do is make sure this is set to best and full. We're then going to come to render as. And you can see by default, it takes me right where I want to. These are the settings I use. So I use magic slash ABC AAC MP4 and I always render as 60 FPS, which is this one right here. And you'll notice I use the one with NVIDIA NVENC this allows quicker rendering time. Now, it does depend if you do have the graphics card to do this, and if you don't, then you won't see it. However, even if you don't, I still recommend this one right here, Internet HD 1080p 60 frames per second. Of course, if you want to do 60 frames. So when you select Internet HD, what you want to do is select Customize Template. And from this part, the only thing you're gonna be doing is heading over to Project, and where it says Video Rendering Quality, you wanna change this to Best. Now, all you're going to do where it says template at the top is change this to something you'll remember to use. For example, 60 FPS render. Then select save template. This just means you won't have to come back and edit this setting all the time. Select OK. Notice it will now appear here. So the rest of the time you have Vegas, you'll see 60 FPS render or whatever you called it will appear here. Now after that, of course, you choose where you want to save it to. You choose the file name, what you want to call it, and select render. Now, as you can see, it's going to begin to render. Now, just very quickly, let me show you that this project preview doesn't really matter. All you need to do is come to where it says project video properties, and I'll just be changing this to something terrible. For example, I've just changed it to GoPro Fusion 360, and you can see we now have black bars. So all I'm going to do is do the exact same things again, just render as. I'm going to use that exact same one and select render. You'll see the project and the preview adjusts to what we have as the rendering, 60 frames per second, 1920 by 1080. So no need to waste your time using the project video properties.